What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Dualtron Eagle Pro from Mini Motors USA. Basically, I got this scooter probably in August, the end of the summer. I got to ride it around Chicago for a little bit. It's now obviously January, so um, I can't ride it. It's in my basement. But I apologize for not posting to the channel too much. Uh, it's just been a hectic, hectic few months and maybe a year since I posted last. But we're also going to change this channel up a little bit. I was going to just be just a scooter channel and just try to dominate the scooter market. But I've decided that Midlife Toys is all about Midlife Toys, right? So we're all about cool things like that, you know, six axis uh, simulator over there. Like this, you know, metal Jeep over here. Just little toys, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to just, you know, be popping videos of just cool little stuff. Show you guys and put it up on the channel and see where it goes. I don't really care if it gets successful. I don't care if it doesn't get successful. It's just about sharing cool toys with you guys, right? So let's start with this right here, the Eagle Pro. Basically, it's a dual motor 3600 watt scooter. It's powered by a 60 volt, 22.4 amp hour, 1344 watt LG battery. It has LG 3500 cells in it. So it's a pretty good mainstream scooter. I would say that this is more on the upper echelons of scooters, uh, you know, luxury scooters, I guess you could call them. Dualtron has the name in the industry as one of the best scooters out there. My scooters that I have, this is my only Dualtron. I did have a Spider. I got rid of that and I replaced it with this. This is more of a replacement to the Dualtron 2, okay? So if you had a Dualtron 2, this is more of a replacement for that. As far as range on this thing, they claim 50 miles. I was able to get 42 miles. I got 42 miles on it. That was the first time I ever rode it. I charged it, rode it, and I got 42 miles before it was ding dong dead. I didn't really get a second ride in. Usually when you work these things up and down, uh, first few charges, your range is going to vary a little bit. So I might get some more mileage out of it. I might not. And it just depends on your hills, uh, weight, stuff like that. Maximum speed is 40 mile an hour. I was able to get it up to 41 mile an hour. Uh, down here is your dual motors and basically the great thing about the dual motors versus the spider is that it's easy to make a tire swap because the wheels split. So basically you take that wheel off, you undo a couple nuts and they'll split apart and you can just put your new wheel on which is pretty amazing. Um, let's turn around here. What's unique about Dualtron? This. You don't see this on any other scooter. And to be honest with you guys, it looks awesome. I mean, there's a remote control that comes with it. And I apologize. I had it down here and now it's gone. I don't know what happened to it, but I'll find it. But you can basically change this style to do whatever. Strobe, splash, or flash. Make it one color. Make it no colors. Whatever. Well, no colors would be off. But uh, headlights on the front, you guys, both sides. That really helps when you're in nighttime traffic, when you're in the city. This is a great thing to have, especially on this side here. I mean, that means a lot. People can see you from the side. You don't know what it is, what's coming at you, but you know something's there. On the back, we also have the uh, taillights, and I believe they also have brake lights, which we'll find out right now. Yep. Cool. So they have brake lights. Talking about the brakes, you guys, you have your handles up here. Pretty decent brakes, not hydraulic, okay? I was kind of thinking they were hydraulic uh, before I got it, but they're not hydraulic, but they still do a decent job of stopping this vehicle with the weight on it, right? On the right, side guys, here, you have all your charging ports. Now you can charge this thing in about three hours with a quick charger, and then six hours with two standard chargers in that port, and your standard charger that comes with it is about 12 hours. So you're gonna ride it during the day, plug it in at night, and then go like that. Obviously, if you're only doing short commutes every day, dude, I wouldn't charge it fully all the time. Maybe charge it to 60%. If you're only doing 20 miles a day, 10 miles a day, you know, don't keep this thing fully charged all the time. It's not really good for lithium ion batteries, right? So it does have regenerative brakes. It does have a capacity of 265 pounds for you heavier riders. And it does have, uh, the scooter itself weighs 66 pounds. This scooter is perfect for my girlfriend. My girlfriend loves this scooter. It's perfect for her. It's got enough uh, speed to get up and keep up with me on the Wolf Warrior. And it also has enough range to keep up with the Wolf Warrior or even the cycle board for, you know, because that thing's got some major range on it. That's the cycle board rover. So basically uh, controlled by the typical Mini Motors eye on it. I'm going to actually shut it off so I can show you guys. 
But the Mini Motor I, you guys, to me, is the best scooter controller in the industry. It just, it just has a nice feel here. Whoever designed this did a really good job right here. You don't get a lot of wear and tear on your fingers. It's not, you know, it's easy to hold on when you're on those long rides. I mean, when you're going 20, 30 miles at 15 mile an hour, you know, I mean, that's a few hours of riding. So, I mean, to hold that there, your finger gets sore. Not so much with this. It really is good. And it's good at holding speed. P settings, just like any other Mini Motors uh, Dualtron scooter, you can change your P settings. Add the regenerative braking, take off the regenerative braking, whatever you want. Portability is great on this scooter because basically, like any Dualtron, the handle folds down here. And when it folds down, it locks into the back there via this. Another bonus feature that they did on this that I haven't seen on other Dualtrons is that you're able to fold the handlebars down. And I mean, they're locked in. They're locked in. I mean, some of them, when you fold down, they're still kind of loose, but these ones are literally locked in. So uh, that was a great feature. does have a little bit of creaking on the handlebars. Um, I wouldn't say any more or less than previous Dualtrons. I mean, they just have that creakiness. When you first get on it, you're a bit uneasy. Like, ooh, is this thing going to break? But they are super solid. You know, don't worry about it. If you want to, hit it with some WD-40 down there. That will aid in the, uh, the creaking. So... I'm just trying to think of what else. We talked about the brakes, the suspension. You guys, this is a unique suspension. It's basically, I don't know if you guys remember GoPad back in the day, but they had the Trail Ripper. It's like a Trail Ripper suspension. How the suspension works is it doesn't use any springs like normal ones. Basically, it has cartridges in here. See that square? That's a rubber cartridge in there. And basically, you have a, a square tube that's connected to these trailing arms. And basically, what happens is, is that when that moves, it puts pressure on that square tube, which basically gives it resistance and i mean it just works out really smooth i know on certain scooters like that you can get different uh rubber in there to make it softer plusher if you want i'm not sure about the dualtron that's something you'd have to talk to mini motors about but uh i mean it's not ip rated either so even though it's not made for the rain i'm sure if you got you know went through a little bit of puddles or something like that you'd be okay but you definitely want to stay away from keeping it out in the rain like a bird scooter or something like that. You don't want to do that with this scooter. Another thing that they changed is right here, the Eco Turbo Single Dual Butter. You see how it's a lot better? Before they just looked all kind of cheap and Chinese. Now they have a real nice rubber overmold to them. They look like they're protected from water. But the only thing is, is you can't tell what mode you're in. You have to physically ride. Okay, oh, I'm going slow, I'm in Eco. Going faster, I'm in Turbo, you know? Uh, it does have a bell. But other than that, kickstand, it's a pretty decent scooter, you guys. When spring comes around, I'm hopefully working on moving to a different location where it's going to be warm all the time. So I'll have more scooter stuff. I'll be pushing out Instagram a little bit more, too. But for right now, that's all I got for you. And uh, I got to say, I'm very impressed. I think it's a great scooter. It's a very good mid-range scooter from a high-end scooter company, right? Yes, there's faster, better scooters out there. Yes, there's slower, cheaper scooters out there, right? But for all around performance and quality, I think Dualtron hit it home on this one. Talk to the boys over at Mini Motors. They will take care of you. The great thing about buying from Mini Motors is, is that, uh, you know, you have a problem. Those guys are going to take care of you. They're not in the business just to ship you a scooter and then forget about you. They're in the business of maintaining that relationship because they want you to keep buying scooters from them. So my hat goes off to those guys. But uh, that's about it, you guys. 10-inch tires. I don't know what else to say, but, you know, we're going to be posting some other videos. We'll have the motion simulator up here soon. I'm going to have some RC stuff coming for you guys. Um, RC stuff. And then also I'm going to have uh, an aviation one coming. So you guys that are in airplanes, I have a whole bunch of sick aviation art around here that I'm going to be going through. And uh, we'll uh, show you guys that. So... Comment below, you guys. Please subscribe. It really helps. And please click the like button and comment. I'm trying to get this channel back up and running. Yes, it sucks. I didn't post for the longest time. But now I'm going to start posting again. I just, I had to get my mojo. You know, did I want to be a scooter channel? And then winter would come and I can't do scooters. So it's like, you know what? It's just midlife toys. It's going to be everything. We're going to have Porsches. We're going to have Teslas. We're going to have boats. We're going to have helicopters. You name it. If you're in middle age and it's a toy, we're going to put it on this channel. So, but for right now, check it out. The Eagle Pro is pretty awesome. Peace.